What's up everyone? I'm back with another video from my channel and tonight's story I'm gonna do a book review on is Disney Chill's Second Star to the Fright and the story is about a boy named Barry Darling and he's 11 years old and he enjoys being a kid so much and until one day he makes a wish where he never wants to grow up like, for example, like, no responsibilities, no getting older, and no more doing harder homework, and pretty much anything that happens when you grow up. And, for example, like, Barry's parents are, like, overworked and stressed out all the time, along with his sister, Rita, that is 16 years old. And she can be really mean, and she's about as mean as Vicky from the Fairly Odd Parents. For those of you who may may not have seen Fairly Odd Parents on on TV, like on Nickelodeon, and I've watched that show before when I was a kid, and, she, and boy is she terrifying. <laughs> and one day Barry and his family go for a little trip to the Maritime Museum, and. And there's a lot of pirate stuff that go that's in the in the building, until Barry decides to wander off on his own, like the kid detectives in his books that he likes to read, until he finds an old rusty pirate hook, from like the last century, and there's a pirate ship that's inside the museum, and 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 then Barry makes a wish on this hook, where he wants where he never wants to grow up at all. At first. It seems great for Barry at first, until one, until Barry's birthday, like where he's supposed to turn 12, his parents and his sister start to forget his birthday. But he, at first, he thinks it's all a prank, and then until his friends, too, forget his birthday, too. And then things get even weirder. Like, Barry's supposed to be graduating from the fifth grade along with his best friends, Michael and John. And, and he doesn't get a chance to go to junior high with them until Barry's fifth grade teacher tells him that he'll be in his fifth grade class for all eternity, which means forever. And boy, is that going to be creepy. And I can't imagine what it'd be like to stay in the same class for as long as you can live. I, and I did my time in school, too. And... I've had a number of teachers when I was when I was growing up, and what Barry likes to do with his best friends, he, they like to go skateboarding, they like to play video games, they goof around and pick on his sister Rita, like when she's driving her car, which is pretty hilarious, and they also like this band called Neverland, which is really cool, and for those of you who do not know what Neverland is, it's this magical place in Peter Pan, and it's beautiful there. And then things get really creepy, is that this ghost starts to stalk Barry. And if you don't know who the ghost is, it's Captain Hook. One of the most meanest pirates in history. And he's the, he is the most evil pirate in the whole movie, from Peter Pan. And Captain Hook can be really creepy sometimes. And he wants revenge on Barry for stealing his hook from the museum. And then what Barry doesn't realize is that Captain Hook is afraid of ticking clock sounds, which comes from like any clock that you can find in the world. And that's Captain Hook's one true weakness because it scares him so much and Barry has always wanted to solve the mystery of why Captain Hook's one hand is missing and then as the story goes on when Barry gets trapped on the Jolly Roger which is the pirate ship from Peter Pan and until Captain Hook gets scared of the ticking again which is also coming from this shadowy creature that's lurking underneath the water, 
for those of you who do not who have not seen Peter Pan before, it's the crocodile named TikTok. And no, he he is not named after the social media TikTok. He's named after the clock sounds tick tock tick tock. And Captain Hook gets so scared of those two things like clock it, clock sounds and the crocodile that actually wants to eat him just because he lost because I think that's how he might have lost his hand. And Captain Hook also mentions that Barry is not the first kid to actually pull a prank on Captain Hook. And what I like what I find relatable about Barry is that he's the youngest of two children. Like, for example, he only has an older sister, and so do I, except my older sister is actually nice. And if you guys want to know why Captain Hook really lost his hand and had it fed to the crocodile, please read the story and watch Peter Pan to find out for yourselves. And what I also find funny about Captain Hook is that he has a funny nickname like he gets called a codfish just because he gets scared of the crocodile so much like I am not the codfish and I'll get you for this pen and if you guys want to see more videos of m any more book reviews that I'm going to do in the future Please comment down below on what books do you think I should read next. And I do have a lot of good books that I might like to read next. Like, for example, there's a book four coming out for the Disney Chill series called Be Careful What You Wish For. And it comes out tomorrow, which is coincidentally on my sister's birthday. And I might also think about reading... Dead City or something, or The Land of Stories, or Fairy Tale Reform School. Like, for those of you who do not know what those franchises are, Dead City stories are about zombies and this girl, Molly Bitchlow. And those books are written by James Ponty. And the Land of Stories series is written by Chris Culver. For those of you who have not heard of him before, he was also an actor on this show called Glee. And for Fairy Tale Reform School, the series was written by Jen Kalanita Kalan or something, or however you pronounce her last name. And please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications for when I upload another video for my next book review. And for those of you who do not know, I have an Instagram that you can follow. And I can sh I can show you in this in this in my description below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll be back with another video for you guys very soon. I promise. And I love you all so much. And please make sure you help me grow my YouTube community and you can help me get as many subscribers as, as you can because that means a lot to me and I appreciate you guys so much and you are all very supportive. Bye!